If you're wanting to make some self-marking quizzes using AI, stay tuned and I'll walk you through three different tools that will get the job done. Welcome to AI for Teachers. I'm Jen Twardell. In the next quick tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can use Google Forms and different AI tools that have been made for teachers to generate some quizzes that self-mark. Why do I love Google Forms? Well, it's a really easy platform to use. I do recommend using Google Chrome as your web browser when you create them. And when you head in, you can manually make your quizzes and then send them to your students and it will self-mark for you. But to make it even easier to use, I recommend using AI to help you develop the content in your quizzes and you'll be able to send them to your students and get digital feedback in minutes. Let's take a look. Let's just start with a quick overview of Google Forms. So when you head into Google Forms, you can start a blank form, but it also has some nice um, templates for you. Some personal templates if you're doing an event registration, party invite. If you are wanting feedback, maybe on a presentation that you've done, there's also some templates there. And of course, down the bottom, there's some education templates. So I'm just going to go into the assessment template. And you'll notice that it puts an image at the top of the form. Then you just have a little section there that you can describe what the assessment is about. A spot for the student's name, email if you want it, you can delete this out if it's not required. And a bit of a description of what you want the student to do in the question. Now, you can use Google Forms without any AI, but it requires you to type in the question and then type in each of the answers. Now, the reason Google Form is so wonderful is when you send it to students, it self-marks and their responses will just come into this response section here. And you can even export all of that data into a spreadsheet. You can also turn on and off the quiz for when students are able to access it. So it's a very powerful little platform, easy to send to students, and it marks the assessments for you and gives you that feedback. Let's hop into the different tools we can use to help create these assessments using AI. So the first tool we're going to have a look at is called QuestionWell. It is a platform that has a free portion to it, but it also has an upgrade to a subscription. You can get quite a bit done on the free version, which is what we're using here today. So let's try and get 10 multiple choice questions. We're going to talk about force and motion. It, we want it in English and we'll make it for the fifth grade. If you want to base it on, you can base it on a text that you can paste in, a YouTube video, a website, any file or document or a quiz that you've previously made. Let's just go with a YouTube clip, paste in the URL and then hit search. So we're going to save that and you can align it to some learning outcomes so you could type in Australian curriculum and it will find that for you save and are you wanting to create an interactive video no nope, we're wanting to generate some questions so then it's going to use the AI to generate the questions and four possible answers for you. Once that's complete, you can see them here on the side. You can make any corrections that you want to the questions. You can even add images. If you'd like to select all of those questions to go into your Google Forms quiz, you simply select Select All. And this is where QuestionWell is exceptional. If you're familiar with the gamified quizzes online, you can export these to Quizzes or Kahoot. Today we're just going to export out to Google Forms. 
and it will take all of that information and put it into a Google form for you. So here's your finished quiz in Google Forms format and you can just use the settings as usual so you can send this quiz out to your students and as they respond you will see their responses come up in the responses of your quiz. Really quick and easy. Almanac is another fabulous tool designed for teachers and it's actually very good at creating an entire coursework. So if you're wanting to start from scratch designing a new course, um, Almanac links to many different curriculums. But within Almanac, you can also just use the tools that are embedded in it. So I'm going to head to AI Tools. And I'm going to go to Assessments. And I'm going to go to Quizzes and Tests. And similar to QuestionWell, you can select where the content's coming from for your quiz. So I've previously set up some courses. So I'm going to link this to a chemistry course. What lesson am I going to link it to? Acid-based reactions. And what should I base it on? So again, you can put in your YouTube link. You can put in any resources that you've made or text. I'm just going to use the learning objectives that I've made in my course. And I'm going to hit Start Adding Questions. I can choose what type of questions I want on my assessment. I'm going to go with multiple choice, 10 of them. Add those into the assessment. You can also add some true and false, essay, matching questions, etc. Add those 10 questions for me. And then, same as question well, you simply export. I'm going to hit export into Google Forms. The form then opens as a student would see it. And they can go through and answer the questions. And just like all the other Google Forms, their responses you'll be able to find back into your home page in Google Forms. The third way that we're going to explore using AI to create a Google Form is by using a Chrome extension. So once you have opened up a blank Google Form, simply go into the three dots and you're going to head down to Get Add-ons. Now the one I've chosen to trial today is called the GPT Form Builder. You simply click on that and it will take you through some steps to get it installed onto your computer. And this extension is going to use AI to help us make the questions. So I have it here open on the side. Once you open up uh, your new document, you'll notice that you will then have the add-ons located on your page. So you click on that and then you'll see um, the quiz builder that you've just downloaded in the extension. Once you click on that, this little window will open to the side and it will give you create quiz and add question. So it says here that you can generate a quiz using a topic, Google Files or YouTube. I'm going to use a topic. So if we type in our quiz topic, we might talk about force and motion or um, grade five, number of questions, let's go with five, four choices per question, and we're going to give them one point for correct answer and then we can generate the quiz. So simply by using that topic the AI is going to generate the questions for me so that I can then put into my form. So it's come up with what is the force that pulls objects towards the center of the earth. It has it in that Google form format for me showing me what the correct answer is.
then we can then just add those questions to the form. Obviously, if you're not happy with any of the questions or responses, you can edit it once it is in your form. And those questions have successfully been added. Obviously, that's much quicker and easier. Now, if I want to try another format, um, say a YouTube video, I can select YouTube, hit proceed, then I'm just going to paste my URL into that section. You're going to paste the URL into the form. Again, we'll say that it's for our year five students. We would like another five questions with four choices, each worth one point, and then we again hit create quiz. And it's going to take the transcript from that video to pull the questions from and using AI generate some possible questions. So if this is something that you do a lot and you would like your quizzes to take you a lot less time to generate, certainly you can trial this Chrome add-on, but it might be something worth purchasing as well. Um, so that you always have it there. Now, regardless of how you make your form, you can then send it on to your students. So you go to send, you can send it by email, or more likely you're going to send it via the link. So you simply copy the link and you would post it um, where your students can access it. When your students get the link, it will open up the form for them. And it will look like this. They will go down, they will select their answers. I'll just say one at a time there. And then they will submit their answers to you. Now when you go back into your form and you go to responses, you can see that one student has answered the questions and you can review how they went on each question and it will graph the information for you. It doesn't matter which tool you want to use, either Almanac, QuestionWell, or just the Google Chrome plugin, any of these tools will help the process of making quizzes quick and easy. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to balance your work and well-being. This has been ARA for Teachers and I'm Jen Swardale.